Hi, everybody. Reese Davis with you, bringing you the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 pregame show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. The Owls are ranked number one in the nation, but there's a big difference in being ranked number one now and being ranked number one early in the season. Early in the season, you have a little bit of a stumble. You figure everybody else is too, and you've got a chance to get back in the fight. Too late for that now. No margin for error, no room for misstep if you want to finish on top. Thanks for joining us here on the NCAA College Football pregame show. Now let's send it out to Brad and Kirk for all the action. We'll see you at the half. Smith has the ball set how he wants it, and we're just about ready to kick this game off, folks. He'll return it from the three. At the 30. Oh, it's the kicker that comes up with a tackle. Getting ready to take the field in their final home game in their career. The final games always have an extra emotional element in them. We'll see if they can channel that emotion and turn it into a victory. So here comes the offense taking the field for the first time today. Concentration to pull it in. He's tackled right around the 42-yard line. The quarterback and his receiver make a great play here and convert on an early down. And they'll bring him down behind the line. Man, did he play that perfectly or what? As a linebacker, you have to be able to read the offense and make a quick diagnosis, which is exactly what he did on that play. Third and five coming up. Ball on the 39-yard line. He's going to try and scramble. He's at midfield. And he shoved out of bounds at the 44-yard line. Nice job by the quarterback to tuck that one and run. Nice job here. He's not the most athletic quarterback out there, but you can see that he makes up for it with his decision-making ability. Here he looks downfield, finds nobody open, and decides to take off with it and comes up with a solid game. Tackle at the 35-yard line. down at about the 37 yard line third down and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down they go to the run and he's tackled in the backfield for a loss that makes it fourth and four. White got a chance to angle it away from the punt returner here. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Rice's staff and their fans have heard all week long their quarterback's going to play terribly on the road. I think their staff's got them ready to prove them wrong right now. I, I think this staff really has rallied this entire team around some of that negative talk. And I think they believe in their guy that he can go on the road and make the plays and lead them to a big victory. I, you know, sometimes when you hit some adversity like that, you see teams circle the wagons. And I, and I really believe this week they've done a great job of doing that. Now they just have to go out and execute the plan and go out and win this game. Well, that'll happen when you blitz the corner and the offense picks up the blitz. It's one less guy the quarterback has to worry about in coverage. Nice read by the quarterback to keep the drive going. 
Catches it, and he's looking for more. He's at midfield. And he's tackled at the 34. Can this guy throw the ball or what? No question. You can see why this guy is considered one of the premier passers in the game. Not only does he have the tremendous arm strength that we've talked about, but he's got all the intangibles as well. We're talking about poise, confidence, and the uncanny ability to find the open man. Just a phenomenal quarterback. They'll bring him down to the 21-yard line. You know that saying, get your keys out because we're on a drive? So this offense right now is on a drive. I mean, this is their third first down. They're doing just about anything they want, and they're really starting to wear the psyche of this defense down. Pitches in, and he might take it. And he's pushed out of bounds, setting up a first and goal. The Owls have a player that's up for national awards. It's all speculation right now. You can talk about awards after you win them. He's got to worry about playing this football game. They bring him down in the backfield. From the nine yard line, second down. McCray gets the carry. Nice run to the outside. Good for a gain of six yards. That makes his third and goal. Through a defender and he's in. A short burst for the score. That's what happens when you can win the war in the trenches down near the goal line. He splits the uprights with the extra point. Let's get an update now. Here's Reese Davis. Reese. The Mustangs arrive at today's game ranked 20th. The Mustangs relentless with their rushing attack, and they score a touchdown. The Mustangs are on top, 14-0. That's good stuff, Reese. Thank you. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. Taken from the three-yard line. He's taken down at the 24-yard line. Rice has really got things working right now for him. I can't think of a better start. Well, that's exactly the way they had hoped to see this game go. I mean, anytime you can start the game with a stop, get your offense out there, they move the ball down, put points on the board. Now it's just more about trying to maintain what they've already created. And while they are behind, they know they can knock things up in a heartbeat. It's way too early to change your game plan. Has some daylight. Makes it to the 34. Gains his way to the 46-yard line. He kept it himself and picked up a good-looking first down. Great execution and a good decision there by the quarterback. Makes it out to about the 46. He might have a chance. Gets out to around the 35.
First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 24. Caught, and he's hit immediately. screen inside the 10 now it's first and goal as he's knocked out after a nice game folks that's the end of quarter number one and we got a pretty good ball game on our hands so far the owls with a touchdown lead and we're back for more action here in quarter number two He looked totally in control on that keeper. Here's the PAT to tie this thing up. He makes the PAT. A nine-play, 77-yard drive. And the result, seven points. White is lined up to kick this one off. McCray fields it at the two. Across the 30. Tackle at the 40 yard line. Kickoff return 38 yards. This is the point in the game where you don't want to make any mistakes that give the other guys a reason to feel more confident going into halftime. Strike to his receiver, no good. That makes it second and ten. From their own 40-yard line, it's second down. Throws complete, and he's hit hard behind the line. Incomplete. You know, Brad, this is one of those plays where the quarterback just wants to apologize to the wide receiver and maybe every other member of this offense. The wide receiver, if he's smart, will come up to that quarterback, tell him to forget about it. Let's move on to the next play. Shaw is back deep to return. And he's taken down at the 38. Made a few guys miss on his way to a quality return. They've been like a couple of fighters feeling each other out so far. Let's see if they start to open it up a little bit more now. Here we go. He's taken down around the 47-yard line. So it's third down now, and they're going to need about four. Quick throw out to the receiver. And they make the stop at the 32-yard line.
gets out to about the 31. That makes it second and 10. Throws quick to the receiver, and it falls incomplete. Well, he must have hurried there because his receiver was wide open. There was no need to rush that one at all. And this is the eighth play of the drive. Tackle made around the 14-yard line. This is the tenth play of this drive. In your place. And down he goes, just outside the goal line. And he adds the extra point. It was an 11 play, 63 yard drive, and it results in a touchdown. Brad, I thought the offense did a really nice job of mixing up the play calling on that drive. I thought the defense was on its heels most of the drive because of the versatility of the offense. The score now 14 7. They line up to kick this one away. From his own goal line, he's to the 20, at the 30. And what a play by the kicker to take him down. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. He gets out to about the 38-yard line. Excellent pass defense. Got to be able to make a lightning quick reaction to bat the ball away like he did right there. Third down, eight yards to go. Ball on their own 38. He lets it fly. Good tackle. He was the last line of defense. That makes it first and ten. Second down, 10 to go. Ball on the 20-yard line. They go to the screen here, and the halfback's got it. And they push him out at the 16-yard line. Third down. Huge play, and now they're in a great position to score. Ten yards. That makes it first and goal. Hey, watch the slant. Watch the slant. Hey, check my three. Check my three. Check. Open the hole. Check. Check. Nice run, and he's brought down. Austin gains about five yards on the option play. Rice just took their first time out. From the one yard line, it's second down. Zips it to his receiver, touchdown.
the extra point to tie this game up. And he tacks on the extra point. Here's an update from the studio and restated. The Mustangs entered today's game ranked 20th, knowing they had to win to stay in the top 25. This is a game we've been watching closely all day long. And for North Texas, they're now facing the possibility of losing eight in a row. And for Snyder, he's tossed a couple of touchdown passes. SMU in front, 24-14, closing in on halftime. All tied up at 14 in our game, Reese. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. He'll take it from the two. You always want to go in the locker room with momentum, so as we get closer to halftime, I think we'll see more and more attempts to create big plays. Caught open field. He's out of bounds at the 39-yard line. down 10 to go ball on the 39 Two yard line, second down. Looking for his man, incomplete. be able to get the pass off. Throws out and through his hands. Ratliff is back awaiting the punt. And he's got to be happy with that punt, Kirk. Yeah, Brad, that was nice. So now they're looking at a long way to go to even think about a score. The offense really came up with a nice drive there last time out, and most of those yards came through the air. This defense needs to improve from front to back. The line needs to put more pressure on the quarterback, and the defensive backs need to stick it to these receivers with tighter coverage. And he's tackled right around the 32-yard line. First down. bring him down for a loss on the play. So it's complete, but they didn't get much there. And that's because the defense was just waiting on it, and they attacked. The quarterback should have found somebody else downfield. Tackle to 37-yard line. Pitch and catch for the first down. And he shoved out of bounds at the 49. 14 yards on the play. That makes it first and 10. We've got a first and 10. Ball on the 49. Receiver dropped it incomplete. That makes it second and ten. He 
the Owls use their second timeout. He ran a good route there and was able to pick up yards underneath the coverage. It's okay to move the ball in small portions because it relaxes the offense and can open things up for the big play. They're about four yards away here on third down. Nice play across the middle. They'll bring him down at the 29-yard line. There's a strike complete, and he's down. How about that play? That's a good pickup there. He just dropped back and delivered a nice throw. Quick strike, and he drops it. The field goal unit's out on the field, and they're going to try to get these guys three points before halftime. It's up, and he got it. Boy, he had plenty of distance there and pushed it through. Very impressive leg strength. 17-14, Rice. We played a half of football. Rice leads it 17-14. Hi, everybody. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Keith Davis, David Pollock here in the studio as always to lend a little perspective to what just went down in the first 30 minutes. I'm sure both teams have problems in the first half, but one of them, David, not moving the football. Both offenses really ran up and down the field. We see this more in college football, Reese. More success on the offensive side, and it's harder and harder to stop these offenses that continue to get more and more complicated. The defenses, they got no answer. They got to find an answer quick, or else this ball game is just going to go tick for tack the whole second half. That's going to do it at halftime. Just about ready to start the second half. All right, you finish it up, brother. I'm going to get some of the cafeteria. I'm hungry. Wait, 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 don't leave until you get my order. Brad Kirk, take the second half. Welcome back to the action. Second half just about set to begin. We got a tight game here. He's to the 20. He's taken down at the 24. Well, this is a very competitive game. Just when you think one team has gained the advantage or the momentum, the other team comes fighting back and it's going back and forth. This is almost like a basketball game. They'll take over here, ready to start a new series. Rice is up by three. He might have a chance. He's tackled right around the 40. That's a game of 16 on the play. First down. Larry, Larry, Larry. Mike 22, he's coming. 22, he's coming. Mike, Mike. Fights forward to about the 43. Makes it out to about the 49. That's going to be a gain of eight yards. That makes it first and ten. Gets to about the 41 yard line. That makes it second and two. And he's leveled the 38 yard line. First down. Time to go, night, night. Mark 22, Mark 22. Tackles him for a loss. The quarterback tried to do a little too much by himself. Hey, maybe next time he'll get it out to the back so he can do something with it. It's second and 12. Ball on the 39. Throws it in a hurry. He's taken down around the 29-yard line. That'll make it third and one. 
Rice holds a field goal lead. Fires incomplete. He was looking for the tight end. It's fourth down. So the kicker comes out. He'll try to put three points on the board. He gets it up, and he nails the long field goal. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. He just drills this one. He's to the 10. He's got the corner. And he just got stood up right there. Kirk, you and I like seeing points. We're seeing points in this third quarter. This has been fun. And I think it's going to continue, Brad. I think the adjustments that were made at halftime have allowed these quarterbacks to go out and, and really be able to take command of how they want to attack each defense. It's going to come down to that final drive. There's still plenty of time to keep running their offense as usual here. I don't think they need to feel any anxiety about trailing. Here he goes. Gains his way to the 30-yard line. So it's second and ten. Ball on their own 30. Tosses out to the tailback on the screen. And he's taken down around the 35-yard line. You've got to be able to come through on third down, and that's just what they did with that big run. Going long. Oh, boy, almost intercepted. This is a very well-coached defense. They know to get their hands up in the air and to try to knock down passes. From their own 45-yard line, Second down. And they make the stop around the 47-yard line. tries to buy some time and he has it on the corner looks like he's gonna run tackle made the 17 yard line Yard loss. Really, they just had nowhere to go after the catch. That'll bring up second and eleven. It's the eleventh play of the drive. Check thirteen. Check thirteen. It's our time. It's our time. Tackle after positive yardage. That makes 
is third and three. And down he goes at the 10. A one-yard gain by the halfback. Fourth down. It's fourth down. They'll line up for the field goal, and this is nothing more than a chip shot. Kicks up, and it's good. And you gotta think they're pretty happy with holding in your field goal right there. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. McCray from the one. Tackle made at the 30. Demon Deacons on this have really surprised everybody in this football game. They have not been intimidated at all, which is great to see. The attitude and effort of this team has put them in a position where they got a shot to win this game here in the second half. Three points was the result of their last drive as the offense heads out for another. Rice is up a field goal. Quick strike to the receiver. He gets hit out of bounds at about the 33-yard line. And he just gets rid of it. their own 33 yard line third down and they get nice yardage on that run that's three down and one to go the owls with a three-point lead Just about set to start action here again in the fourth quarter. He's got him up in the backfield. Really good play here and run support by the linebacker. The big guys up front took away the running lanes, and he was able to get through for a loss. From their own 37-yard line, it's second down. Down at the 46. Rice has a three point lead. Tackle for a loss. So the quarterback keeps it on the option, but he'll lose a yard. Second down, about 12 yards to go. Ball on the 47-yard line. Now he's scrambling. He takes off. That's a great tackle at the 32-yard line. Gets out to around the 18. That's a team 14 yards on the play. That makes it first and 10. Keep it up, defense. Keep it up, guys. Gets out to around the 6. That's good for a game of 12 yards. That makes it first and goal. Nice run, and he's brought down. That brings him second and goal. Touchdown. 
first down, Owls. He splits the uprights with the extra point. Smith has the ball all teed up, and he's ready to kick this one off. He'll return it from the one. And he's taken down at the 26. Rice's defense, they've got the it factor. The it factor, the swagger, whatever you want to call it. When they take the field, they know they're better than you. And as a group of 11, they play like they know they're going to stop you. The offense gets set to take the field. Last time out, they stuck it between the uprights for three. Quick shot to the open receiver, and he can't hang on to the ball. Shot the intended receiver on the play. That makes it second and ten. From their own 26-yard line. Second down. Completes it, but he can't shake the defense. That's four yards on the play. You know, little passes like this force the defense to start to come up. Then you can see an offense take their chances downfield later to take advantage of the defense starting to cheat up. Makes the catch, and the defense is all over him. They bring him down for a loss. Drop back a yard. Not much going on there. Those kind of plays will not work against this defense. You can be sure of that. Looks like they're going to go for it on fourth down. Just under three to go in regulation. Gets rid of it quickly, and that was almost picked. It's always a gamble going for it with so many yards to come up with. But when you're behind, sometimes you have to take risks to get back into a ball game. The offense just wasn't able to make a play. The defense was really clutch right there. Both teams are well aware that a score on this drive is going to create an almost insurmountable lead. This defense has really got to step it up and make a stop. The halfback with a carry. He fights forward to about the 29. That makes it second and ten. Second and ten. Ball on the 29. Runs outside for a nice game. Around five yards there on the option keep. Wake Forest is going to use their first time out of the half here. He fires this one. Throws quickly into the end zone. Caught for the touchdown. The Owls knew they had a star quarterback. He came through for him in the clutch. And this defense knows how good this quarterback is. In fact, that's why they decided to try to get as much pressure on him as they could. They weren't able to get home, leaving him plenty of time to make the throw, and he delivered when he needed to. And he adds the extra point. Let's throw it out to Reese now for a studio update. The Horned Frogs were clinging to a spot in the top 25 at number 23 but a loss, and they are out of the top 25. And for TCU, they managed to find the end zone first using their ground attack. TCU has the edge, 7-0. All right, thanks a lot, Reese. Looks like they're ready for the kick. And he got all of this one. Great kick. He's to the 20. They'll bring him down at the 31-yard line. And the defense stopped them cold on fourth down during their last drive. Let's see if this offense can reestablish some confidence after being stopped on downs the last time they were out on the field. 
tackle right around the 48-yard line. This guy has that innate ability to get just enough distance from a defender to make a completion possible. You don't see it from every receiver, but this guy's got it. Just under two minutes in the game. Quick throw out to the receiver. And he's tackled around the 40-yard line. Second down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 40. Here's a quick throw. Stays in bounds and made a nice catch. down 10 yards to go ball on the 20 he's tackled at the 10 yard line goes for about five yards and a first down. And I like the decision the quarterback made on this play. He didn't try to force a deep pass. Instead, he just threw a little dump off pass that was good enough for a first down. Fires quickly and he's got his receiver for the touchdown. of these guys credit for getting in sync really fighting to create that touchdown and he converts the extra point This offense just torched the defense through the air with a great passing attack on their last drive. You can bet this defense made some adjustments on the sideline, though. I don't know if they can stop the passing attack, but they need to at least be able to slow it down. Wake Forest will use their final timeout. From the 43-yard line, it's second down. We should just see the quarterback take a knee right here, winding down the rest of this clock. succeed. Austin's performance today, Kirk, it was just fun for you and I to be part of it, really. Yeah, really, just a campus legend, a guy that went out there and, and showed why he's one of the most dominant players in the country, and he did not disappoint anybody, including his teammates today. Thanks for joining us for another game of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk and everyone here at EA Sports, Brad Nussler saying goodbye, and we'll see you next time.